Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video we will talk about my vacuum tube collection again <laughs> because yeah in the last few months it was growing and growing and I got a good source of vacuum tubes so yeah now I'm building up a big Russian tube collection. So where do we start? Let's start here. I have a second GU5B new um yeah nothing special just the gu5b here we have a gm 2a sadly this one is broken but yeah it's not too bad i mean i have more than enough other tubes this one is is, is cool because uh, it has water cooling directly built into the tube so that's nice um here we have the GU43 or 47B. Um, this one is pretty impressive. Uh, it can do 10 kilowatts output for one second, I think it says in the data sheet, which is pretty interesting if you compare it to the 5B. Look, pretty much the same size. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, we'll definitely build something with this tube. But on these tubes, the grid is very sensitive. So you have to be very careful with the grid that you don't break it. So now we come to the cooler stuff. Um, yeah, let's start right here. This is a diode, pulse diode. Uh, here's the number if someone is interested. Yeah, nothing special. They were used in radar applications. Um, here we have some random smaller tube. I uh, can't remember the number now, but this one is 100 watt output. So pretty nice uh, for its size. Here we have a pulse tube. This is a GMI 11. Um, look, you can see the gold plated grid. Most of the tubes of the pulse tubes have gold plated grids. So yeah, it looks very nice. Um, yeah, I, I really like pulse tubes. You can probably make a very nice VTTC out of this. So I will. Um, here's another pulse tube. GMI 83B. Uh, and yeah, for now all the other tubes will have um, the name under it. So if you guys want to look up the data sheet or anything like that, you can just look at the number. Yep. Here we have a Cybertron. Uh, this one is the TGI1 13010, so 130 probably for 130 amps at 10 kV. This one has the socket, so that's pretty nice. Here we have a GMI90, um, pretty nice little tube. Oh, why why does it say telephone? Uh, I got these tubes from someone. Who made the wooden sockets for them? But yeah, interesting that it says uh, Taylor Funken on uh, the socket. Ah, now I can't put it back. Ah, well, okay, I will have to leave it like this. Um, here we have a big hydrogen Thyrotron, 700 amps, 25 kilovolts. Here's the number. Um, pretty pretty thick look at this <laughs> that's a very nice Cybertron um, I will definitely make something with it I will probably uh, use this to pull in a capacitor bank a PFN into a radar pulse, uh, pulse transformer and then feed that into one of the one megawatt magnetrons um, over here we have a diode again also pulse diode for radar applications. This is pretty cool. Uh, this is like ceramic, ceramic thing is, is, is pretty cool. That make the isolation. Um, here we have the GM100. It's a very big glass triode. I think it's three kilowatts. So that's pretty cool. Wait, let me actually turn on the filament. So I hooked up my lab supply. So. 
because we're gonna let it preheat a bit. And now this is full filament voltage. Uh, oh well, not full. Uh, the full voltage would be 17 volts. These are uh, put in parallel so I can supply the tube. Um, yeah. Isn't this beautiful? I mean, look at this. It's a very nice tube. I will try to make a VTTC out of it, but I heard that um, this tube is pretty bad for VTTC use. But we will see. I will try. I mean, look at this. Isn't this amazing? Yeah. So, that's pretty neat. Mm, so, let me turn it off. Here we have rectifiers, also pulsed rectifier. Um, this one was the first version, and this one is the newer version, but they have the same specs. This one is just the new generation. Um, yeah, here we have a rectifier again. Pretty, pretty neat small rectifier. Here we have a diode. This one also looks very nice. Um, I really like the looks of it. This is the size of it. Pretty, pretty nice. Uh, here's the number. Um, here we have a spark gap. Also pretty cool. Um, here's a, I think this is a diode. Yep, this is, this is just a diode. Um, yeah, nothing special, really. And here we have some Cybertrons. Um, different sizes, different specs. Um, yeah. Um, yep, here we have some more Cybertrons. Um, this tube is pretty cool. This one can do one gigahertz, which is pretty cra uh, crazy. I think it has 700 watts output or something like that or 700 watts energy dissipation. I'm not too sure now. Sorry, I just got these tubes recently and I'm still not familiar with all the specs. Here we have a pulse tube, GMI5. Also the gold plated grid again. They are pretty cool. These tubes, uh, pulse tubes are very nice. Um, I really like them. Um, this one's a diode again, nothing special. Cyrotron. Here we have some, some lamps. This one has a small drop of mercury inside of it. And yeah, they are pretty cool. I will have to power them on. Um, here we have a Cyrotron, 500 amps, 16 kV. Uh, I've been told that this is made out of beryllium, so yeah, if you have such an Thyrotron, be careful. Uh, also, it's pretty shiny, you can't really tell. Uh, it has like sparkling particles in it. Um, but yeah, I don't know if it's really made of beryllium, that's what I've been told, but I'm not sure. So, if you have a Thyrotron like this, just be careful. Um, here we have... A water-cooled x-ray tube this one is pretty cool um, also it looks very nice if you power it on um, it was used in um, in a machine that was used for analyzing crystal structures or something like that um, so it had to be running for a pretty long time that's why it was uh, water-cooled uh, so let me turn on the filament now. Oh. Yeah. Look at this. I think it looks amazing. I really like it. Very beautiful glow. Um, it's for 100 kV. Um, so yeah, very nice tube. The x-rays come out of this port here so yeah very interesting tube um, and that was pretty much it for 
today because I'm still not done with getting Russian tubes. Um, I will definitely get more tubes. There will be a very, very special tube coming uh, to my place in the next few months. Um, I will spoil a bit and can tell you guys that the tube is over 500 kilowatts constant wave. So not a pulse tube, a real big juicy tube that can do over 500 kilowatts. So yeah, you guys have to stay tuned for that. So yeah, that was it for my collection today. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions about tubes or have some cool information about them, just let me know. And in the future there will be definitely some projects with these tubes. Um, yeah, oh, and maybe one thing, that Thyrotron was uh, used in a MiG-21 Raider, as far as I know, so that's pretty cool. Yep, so that was it for today. Uh, I hope you guys like my small video about my collection. So yeah, stay tuned for more videos. Bye.